Hi, Jim McCarran here at Alderman Chevrolet Buick GMC, Vermont's favorite car dealership. I have a 2023 Chevy Silverado 1500 double cab. This is the RST package. This has your 5.3 liter V8, 355 horsepower, 383 foot pounds of torque. With the RST, you do have your white matching front bumper and grill. This has your black bow tie in the front. You would have your tow hooks there. This is your Summit White metallic, Summit White paint, not metallic, sorry. Uh, this would have a very nice 18 inch silver painted aluminum wheel. See, they're great shapes. Would have an on road, off road tire. This has your wheel liners in both the front and the rear, and does have your molded flaps in front and in the back also. Does have your Z71 off road package, so it has your skid plates underneath. You have your locking differential. This is your double cab configuration. So if you open it up, you can see you got plenty of room back here. Now this is a Gideon dark atmosphere interior in leather. So you see it's a very nice looking seat. You can leave these down for visibility. We'd have your power sliding window there. These seats do fold up just by picking up on them like that. This does have your floor liners, so your whole floor is covered. Which that you can take out just by breaking it apart in the middle there. You have vents back here, so the people back here are comfortable. And you also have USB ports back here. This is your new interior, so you can see you got some nice wood grain, some brushed chrome, you got your new screen. So it's a very nice looking interior, even on your doors in the back. You can see you got some pretty good sized speakers in the back here. Get some brush chrome so it's a very nice looking interior would have your starter from the factory so just have to hit that twice already got it started so they don't have to worry about that look at it once again you got your wood grain on your doors your brush chrome besides your Bose stereo speakers in the front you got your cup holders there this would have your auto track four-wheel drive system so over there would be rear wheel drive. If you put it in that, that button right there, it would be auto, which would kick it back and forth. So around here in Vermont, if you have an inch of snow or two, you might want to leave it in that. You have your four high and your four low. You have different drive modes here. Uh, if you can see up there, you got an off-road mode, sport mode for uh, windy roads, and then you have your normal mode there. That would be your light for your back of your bed and for light that also shines down at your hitch and the bed and light inside the bed, which of course, does have uh, lights to you know adjust themselves. You really never have to turn your lights on because that's the sensor right there, and they would just come on automatically. Uh, he, he's steering wheel in the front. Now this is a high definition camera that goes out there. So with that, you'd have your uh, forward collision alert system. So if you're getting too close, it would warn you. Would have your emergency braking, your pedestrian braking. Would also have lane keep assist and we didn't have intelligent beam headlights. So if you had your high beams on, they would dim themselves. Your cruise control is there. You just hit that and hit set. Bluetooth would be there. These, but this button right here will give you all your information. Trip pedometer, you got oil life, all that, brake life, all that right there. You can adjust the, um, you have different layouts to different screens if you want right there. Your wipers would be here. Now this one has your bucket seats in the front, so you shift it, put it just to put it in here like that. Put it in reverse. It'd be a very nice camera there. If you're towing, this is all truck is all set up for towing, so it has a built-in brake controller. Heated seats in the front on both sides. Would have climate control for passengers and drivers to so set the temperature there the way they would want. This is your new uh, screen here. So this would have your audio here. It would have XM radio, which you get three months, three months free on that. Just go like that. The XM like that is very nice. You can just scroll across. It does have Google Maps also. If you didn't want that, you could have like you could do your trailer. You can also have your a clock there also. So if you go back to the screen here, this does have your Google Assistant. So if you go like that, set the temperature to sixty-two degrees. Set the temperature to sixty-two degrees. So you just it. changing the temperature to 60. So you can just tell it what, you know, through Google, you, you can just set it up. You could set your temperature, you could get your directions, stuff like that. 
Uh, your camera would be here, which like I said, it's got a nice camera. You can look down at it. You get different uh, angles there. Would have your Ma Google Maps there. This would have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto also. All right there, touch of a button. Now this is your lane keep assist. So if you went over the line, it would pull you back. Now this truck does shut down to battery when you stop at lights and stop signs. It gives you better fuel economy in city driving, but some people don't care for that. If you don't like it, you can turn it off. If you want to lower your tailgate, you can from here. That's traction control, that's your four-way flashing. Now this has a gray downhill where you could lock in your speed if you wanted to there. We have OnStar, this is your power sliding window here. You can see it opens up like, like that. Would have home links, so if you have a garage door open, you could store your code there. You can see you got a very nice, good compartment, and you have a phone charger right there. You just set your phone right in there. You can charge it. You got an outlet there if you wanted to do like a computer, and you got your USB ports there. So very functional, uh, nice looking, really nice looking interior. You got handles to get in and out of the vehicles on all four doors. Once again, you can see it's got the molded flaps in the back, nicer rims. Now this has a soft tunnel cover from the factory here. If you're getting in the, stepping in the back, you just put your foot in there. Now it is all set up for towing. So you have your two inch reese hitch, but have your engine oil cooler, your transmission cooler. We'd have your flat four, round seven there. If you're hitching up a uh, trailer at night, there is a light that shines down here. And this has your easy lift tailgate. You can just lower it like that. And it would come down, wouldn't come crashing down. You see, you have a sprayed and bed liner in there. You have an outlet there if you want to put like a radio and stuff. You would have lights if you were wanted to turn them on where you can see inside it with the tunnel cover. Okay, your RST badging. Once again, it's got the wheel liners in front and the rear. See the passenger side's got the floor liners in the front. Also, you can take these right out and clean them. Got plenty of uh, map pockets here if you want. So that's the 2023 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 double cab with the RST package. If you'd like to learn more, hit the learn more button or stop down and see it yourself at Route 7 South in Routland, Vermont.